morning everyone, welcome to day 11 of Vlogmas. This is mad, day 11. Um, I've just finished editing yesterday's vlog, as I start most vlogs. I don't tend to start a vlog until I've edited the other one, because otherwise it's too much for my tiny brain to comprehend. Tea number one of the day is very cold, um, because as I got to the last, I was almost done with the vlog, and the program crashed, and then I had to edit another five minutes worth of content um, back in, which doesn't sound like much, but just because the video, because just because it's five minutes in a video doesn't mean it takes five minutes to edit. It actually took me twenty, <laughs> and then I had to put music in. So yeah, how's your morning going? Uh, first off, I'd like to apologise profusely for my mispronunciation of the pattern I've been knitting. Someone has politely informed me that it's actually pronounced Iedra, with the rolling of the R. I'm not very good at the rolling of the R, but I'm trying. Um, but it's like Iedra, Iedra mit, Iedra, ra, ra. I can do it, but not when it's in a word. Because, um, yeah, German, mm, some parts of Germany roll their R's. I'm not German though, I've learned German. And French don't tend to roll their R's, it's all throaty. You've got to have good good lubrication of the throat when you're speaking German and French, I have found. That is how you get a good German or French R. Um, once again, out of practice. But, today's plan of action. It's a beautiful day, I've got sock sets to twist, I've got findings to put on stitch markers, I've got stuff to photograph, and I've got listings to make. It's all fun and games. Um, I also have the Stitch Marker Club to finish because it's becoming the bane of my life. That is all, that's not all. Um, but yeah, it's becoming increasingly frustrating how long it's taking me and it shouldn't be taking me this long. But it's just how life is going right now and how my concentration span apparently currently is. I've got those fingerless mitts to finish because it's market day tomorrow with Mario, so I need to finish those. And I need to edit this vlog that I'm currently filming that I have no content for because this is the first thing I'm filming in the morning. Um, I have to edit this this evening because I will not have time tomorrow morning. Are they saying that? I've been awake since half past five this morning. But Mario will be getting up much earlier than half past five this morning. I'm wearing another hand knit by my mother this morning. Do I have something on it? It might just be pill. I think it's just pilling. This jumper is incredibly old. It's potentially older than some of you. Um, I've maybe had it since I was about 13, 14. And it was massive and oversized and long and and when I first got it, I won't lie, I was slightly embarrassed to wear it. Because um, it wasn't cool, and it was big and oversized and whatnot. Um, but now I'm 31 and I don't care. And it has been worn a lot since. It's my, I want to be comfy. I'm slouching around the house. Let me wear a comfy jumper, jumper. We all have those jumpers. This is this one. Hmm. <laughs>
so I have finished twisting up all the yarn. As you can see, I've got mini skeins behind me. I decided to name this one, which is really pretty. I love it. Um, it looks really blue. I'm guessing there's a blue light in here off, maybe off all the Ikea bags I have everywhere. Um, I've decided to call it cold resistance because then whatever you knit out of it will become the blank of cold resistance. So say socks, they'll be the socks of cold resistance, the shawl of cold resistance, blah, blah, blah. Also, it's not Christmassy, so I can keep dyeing it up because it's a very pretty color. It's not just Christmassy. So I might have to uh, bring that back next year. I mean, depending how it sells, but I love that colorway. So I might have to um, bring it back next year. Right, I'm going to photograph the yarn now, find some dice, coordinating dice, um, photograph the yarn and then take the stitch markers downstairs that I need to photograph and also I need to make, because the thing I photograph my stitch markers on is downstairs. I think of changing how I photograph my stitch markers but I haven't worked out how yet but um, I might have a think about it over my Christmas break and see. Um, because how I do it at the moment is very practical, but not very stylized. But I'm not very good at styling photos, but I'm trying. And then I need to create a new label because I've got two new yarn bases that I don't have labels for. So I'm going to create a new label for um, them. And then get it all listed in the shop after I've edited the photos. And then I can start bead weaving again. Keep bead weaving the Stitch Marker Club because I've still not finished it. one o'clock and all the yarn is twisted, it's photographed, photos are edited um, and findings are on stitch markers, everything's photographed, everything is ready to go for, all the shop listings are created, they're all scheduled and ready to go, very excited. Um, so what I'm going to do now is take my Chromebook upstairs because I've been sat down here watching a spot of telly whilst creating um, yarn labels, so I'm going to go upstairs and label all of the yarn and then that's everything that I need to do for the shop update, which feels a bit weird because it's very early. Uh, but then I need to come down and keep beading the Stitch Marker Club so it's not like I have nothing else to do. Otherwise I would have just made more for the shop. There's not much going in. But those sock sets are really cute. Someone asked for a, um, a yarn collection of resistance themed yarns, like cold resistance would be part of it and that's a really good idea so I might do that because there's fire resistant, heat resistant, poison resistance. I need to look up what some of them are because I can't think of any damage. You can have damage resistance um, but yeah I think that would be a really good idea if I can come up with a few of them.
So this is my first time doing merino sock sets. Um, I've not really done them before because I haven't had the minis, but they're really cute. I really like them. Although I'm not the biggest fan of merino socks. If you wear your socks a lot, I'd go for the BFL, but um, I love how soft merino is. So I am a sucker for merino. I need bigger bands for my yarn because <laughs> I'm having to pull these so tight because uh, they're not quite long enough. <laughs> How annoying. Hey ho, I need to order some more anyway. I'm trying to decide if I want to get them from the place that I've got them before, but their communication hasn't been great. But they did call me yesterday and ask if I want anything. Uh, well, left a message because who answers the phone to a number you don't know? Not I. Uh, I always have the theory of if they want to talk to me, they'll leave a message and these people left a message. Um, so I could order some more and ask for some longer ones for sock sets and keep the shorter ones for other things like single bands because this is a joke but um, I don't know I shall see but I love this sock set it's such a cute sock set yes can't wait to see these knit up right now I've got all that all done it's all labeled I need some bigger yarn bands because they're too small for my merino sock sets. That is fine. Um, I'm going to sit and do a spot of advent opening because I think it will be fun. And uh, I really want a cup of tea. So hopefully today it will be a tea that I want. It's always been picky with tea when you have a tea advent calendar. So I am going to start with my Chromatic Yarns advent calendar. This is my own hand dyed yarn. I dye yarn in colours by Dun in colours inspired by Dungeons and Dragons. Although I'm thinking of like branching out slightly to other high fantasy things, but we shall see. Uh, no promises. But every so often I see something, I'm like, oh, that would be a really cool colorway, but it's not D&D themed. So I'm just like, mm. um, like it would be really cool to have a like a, the Witcher collection. I think that would be awesome, but it's not D&D themed. Dee -dee. That's really funny because uh, the mini skeins that I was just doing with the spiced mulled spiced red mead there we go uh, colorway was akin to this color although funnily enough I used a different completely different dye it's really weird uh, but this colorway is called Pelor and it's just a very nice yellow fun fact the day I dyed this I also dyed a uh, potion of healing which was day seven and they were in the bag next to each other and just made me think of Winnie the Pooh so yeah uh, I'm going to keep this out because I need to photograph it. Don't put it in the project bag. And yes. Next, we're moving on to the tea advent calendar by Bird and Blend. They sent me a tea advent calendar, but I'd already bought this one, so I gifted that one to my sister. Just to be transparent. Today is day 11. And, ooh, fun. Today's tea is cherry cola bottles. Yes, I'm excited about this. This is a fruit tea. It's got apple pieces, hibiscus, rose hip, cinnamon, cardamom, cola nut. Didn't know that was a thing. Lime leaves, orange peel, stevia, freeze dried cranberry, freeze dried cherry, and natural flavoring. Sounds very tasty. Um, I'll tell you what I'll start doing because someone I had I've had a few people message me and ask if the teas are available on their website. What they do is they upload a limit or they pop a limited amount on their website. So if there's still any left, I'll pop a link to it in the description box below because it's like a secret link. But um, we're friends here. So yeah, if you want, I can leave that. And then if you if there's a tea that you fancy, um, you can pop it in there. I started doing it in yesterday's video, but I just think it will be fun to do. Um, yeah. Next, we're moving on to Advent of Change, which is the charity advent calendar that my sister got for me. Thanks, Charlotte. Day 10 is down here. Uh, this is going to Winston's Wish. Today you have provided a grieving child with an activity book that helps them to understand and cope with their thoughts and feelings. See, what's nice about this is you hear about all sorts of new charities that I hadn't heard of before. Yeah. And finally we have we have the Fiber Fox Advent Calendar. I haven't seen any spoilers to it yet. I've managed to avoid them. Um, 
Ooh, the colourway name is pretty, so I'm already excited. So if you remember yesterday, we had like a pale yellow with some peach in it. Today's colourway is called Fairy Lights. <gasps> oh, I love it. It's really like, I tell you what this is really like, and Georgie, I don't know if you watch my vlogmas, I might have to get you to dye me up some of this colourway. Because I went to Aschaffenburger Wolltheimer in Germany in a place called Aschaffenburg. Um, it was a yarn festival, sorry. And I bought some yarn that was really similar to this and it was called Spicy Speckles and I knit a jumper out of it that I'm not gonna talk about because of the designer's problem problematic. Um, but it was, I, it had like a dark red contrast and I washed it and the dark red ran. And I loved this yarn and I loved that jumper. So I might have to get you to dye up some of this for me. So I can knit another jumper, not the same pattern. That's my first layer of this box done. So I need to work out where to put all of, put the bag, put all these little baggies, because I'm keeping them in the bag so I remember what order they go in. Smart. I should start doing that with my own advent calendar, but I'm relying on memory. Right. I need to put this camera battery on to charge. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna put this on to charge. And then in about half an hour, I'll put the kettle on. So uh, preemptively, let's go make a cup of tea. So the tea I made was the one that I got, cherry cola bottles. Um, I made it, I drank some of it. I ended up taking a short nap because I somehow developed a headache. And then, it's probably because I'm beating with my glasses on. I take my glasses off. Um, and now my tea is cold, it's still tasty. I won't say that it tastes like cola bottles, but it's not unpleasant. Excuse me, bub, I was sitting here. Good evening, everyone. It's now the end of the day. I have finished my Idra mitts, and um, I found out that tomorrow's market's only on till one, so I can finish off uh, club stuff and get things ready for packaging tomorrow, which is perfect and wonderful. I was worried that it was going to go on till like three or four and by the time I came home it would be getting dark and I'd be tired and blah blah. But no, it's only going on till one so I've got plenty of time uh, tomorrow afternoon. Um, but I have my mitts finished. I knit the, the thumbs longer. She says to only knit them for one and a half centimetres and that's just, that's not long enough. Um, so mine are I knit the ribbing for an inch, so I did nine rows, and then I did the tubular cast off, so it looks like ten. Um, and then yeah, all my ends are sewn in. They're not they're not going to be blocked because they won't be dry in time. But the year that I knit, yeah, that are super quick, super easy to knit. I think I will be doing a pair as a gift knit uh, for one of my friends, and probably out of the same yarn because I've still got. A chunk. So probably out of the same yarn, so I may as well just keep that all together. And because they're such quick knit, it's actually very gratifi gratifying and satisfying to get it all done. Unlike Mario's jumper, which is now what I'm going to be panic knitting. Because I need to get them finished. I need to get it finished. Um, but uh, I might knit it a bit actually whilst I'm editing this, because I do need to go and edit. But yeah, it's been a productive day today. Everything is ready to go for the shop update, which is happening at 6 p.m. Saturday. Tomorrow for me, today for you. GMT, UK time. Um, yes, a lot of people are showing um, cold resistance, a lot of love on the gram. So thank you very much to people who have commented and people who have messaged. 
Um, yes, you seem to like it, which is good. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out and it boosts me into the YouTube algorithm uh, so more people see the video and can join the party. Uh, and if you'd like to join the party, please feel free to subscribe. I'm posting a video every day in the run-up to Christmas and um, would love to have you stick around. It'll be great to have you here. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you have been up to. What are you doing? A lot of people have said that they're knitting these as well, which is great. I love to see it. So are you also, um, or are you making something else? Are you still frantically gift knitting is basically what I'm asking. If you'd like to follow me on social media, please feel free. Links as always can be found in the description box below, along with any other information that I think you might need, such as tea of the day, the tea, the tea that I've been drinking and, uh, and the like. That's all, it's all down there. So click the description box and uh, hopefully you'll find something of interest there for you. Anyway, I am now rambling. I'm going to go make myself a tea and edit this. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.